Hi, this is Valerie Getch from Valerie's Photo Channel. Before I get into the tutorial, I wanted to quickly tell you about my free Color Illustrated Guide to Digital Photography Basics. It will help you improve your digital photography skills and understand how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Hi, I'm Valerie Getch. In this Lightroom tutorial, I'll show you how to use the crop tool. Lightroom makes this super easy. You can crop manually, control the aspect ratio of your crop, crop for specific print sizes, straighten the horizon, and use different grid overlays like the rule of thirds to help with your composition. Best of all, your actual image is never really cropped. It's all non-destructive, just like everything else in Lightroom. You can move it, resize it, or get rid of it whenever you want. Lightroom's cropping tool is really well done because it gives you so many options. To get to it, either click on the Crop Overlay tool here in the toolbar on the right panel, or you can click uh, R as a shortcut. And you'll see that the default overlay shows you the rule of thirds, and this will help you try to crop your image to look more interesting or dynamic. Another cool thing that Lightroom does is it gives you a bunch of different crop overlays besides this rule of thirds. So to get to them, just keep hitting the O key to toggle through them. So the next one, um, it might be a little hard for you to see in your screen, but it's diamonds. And the next is rectangles, followed by the golden rule, which is a rectangle, square, and rectangle format. And then this one is the golden spiral, which is a spiral that goes all the way like this, something like that. And the next one is, this is helpful, this gives you various uh, dimensions if you wanted to crop your image to a different size and it would show you what would um, be contained in your image at those different crop sizes. Another thing you can do is flip the orientation of any overlay by hitting Shift-O. This turns it vertical. Hit it again to turn it back horizontal. And then if I hit O again, I've got a standard grid and then hitting O one more time and we're back to the rule of thirds. Um, we'll get to the aspect over here in the toolbar in a minute, but I wanted to show you the straighten tool here. Um, the straighten tool, it's pretty self-explanatory. You would use it to straighten anything in your image that should be straight. So you can see the horizon here is a little bit off, so I'm going to click on the left side and then just drag it over to the right, and when I let go, uh, my image will be straightened. So I see a couple of other things I could do um, with this photo uh, cropping wise. First I want to crop out the trash can in the lower left and maybe crop a little bit of the sky. A good rule of thumb with landscapes is uh, to have two thirds of the ground or the foreground area and one third sky if the ground is more interesting or if you have a really wonderful dramatic sky then maybe do the reverse. And you want to avoid cropping to dead center because half and half, half sky, half ground is usually not very interesting or dynamic. So um, if you look here and under the aspect, you see that there's a little drop down menu where it says as shot and you pull that down and you have a, a number of different options here. You have different crop presets you could use or you could choose uh, to put in your own custom dimensions or leave it as is. So I'm going to leave the dimensions as they are, or the crop ratio as it is rather, and then I'm just going to pull up starting in the lower left corner. I'm going to drag up to get rid of that trash can, pull in a bit, and then you see that the cursor will turn into a hand and you can move the image around to place it, place the crop just as you want. And I'm going to maybe drag down a little to bring it in a little closer and eliminate a bit of that sky. And then when you let go, the crop is set. And if you hit R or the Done button, which is right here, then that will lock the crop. And it will also take you out of the tool, the crop overlay tool. So let's just go back into it. And 
if you decide that you don't like it and you want to change your crop, you can always hit the reset button, which is right here, or hit Control Alt R. Uh, but remember that it is going to reset everything, including the um, straightening that we did before. But you can also go back in and um, just move around your crop without resetting everything. So another way of using cropping is to use the crop frame tool. And that's this little icon here. And the way that works is that you click on it and then you can just drag in your image and then you can set the area that you want to uh, crop to. So say I want to crop to maybe just crop in real tight on the boats here. I can just manually do that and it will crop to the same proportions that we had set before. And then finally, um, oh, I wanted to mention here the angle. You can manually change the angle just by adjusting this slider. And then finally, I wanted to show you the constraint to warp. And this is something that mystifies many people as to what it does. Basically, it makes sure that there aren't any grayed out edges if you use lens correction later on after you've cropped. So what it does is if you check this box, it will automatically adjust the crop so that the image displays all of the edges as it should if you later on go and use the lens correction tool. So it's a good idea to check this box if you've done some cropping and you think you might do some lens correction later on. So those are the basics of the crop overlay tool. If I have major cropping to do or want to straighten the horizon, I like to do that first before I make other adjustments so I have a better image to work with in the editing stage. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel to get all my Lightroom tutorials, and I'd appreciate it if you would hit the like button or leave a comment as well. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of them. I also want to give you a copy of my free guide to Digital Photography Basics to help you improve your photography skills and understand your how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, www.valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Now go out with your camera and have fun and I'll see you back here soon.